All right, this is gonna be a quick video, uh, just kind of walk you through the P-Touch Editor software. This is the latest version, uh, 5.4, that was just recently downloaded, um, and I'm using it uh, today uh, with the brother P-Touch PTP900, um, which is an industrial uh, label maker, but you could be using, you know, anything that connects to a PC or Mac, you're gonna have access to this P-Touch editor software, which is really user-friendly, as you're gonna see, and uh, really uh, powerful and gives you some great options to create some, you know, pretty nice looking labels, quick and easy, and save templates, and, and do all sorts of things. Uh, so this is gonna be uh, the first video in a series on the P-Touch editor. So if you want to subscribe below, um, get notified when the new features come out or new videos come out, uh, do that now. Um, if there's anything that we don't cover in this video or something that you're looking to have covered, you know, just comment down below. Uh, we'd be happy to take a look at it and uh, maybe make a quick video to kind of show you how to, how to do that. Uh, so anyway, when you first open the P-Touch Editor software, this is what you're going to see. And you're going to see all these little tiles here. And these are just different templates under different categories. Brothers kind of grouped them in to kind of cake. There's just so many different templates and label examples. You know, they've done their best to create categories for just about everything. Um, and different labels here. If we open that up, asset management, um, uh, greetings. Um, and when you open that up, it'll show you the recommended label size for each of those. And this is 0.47, which is a half inch tape, 0 0.70, which is known as a three quarter inch tape, uh, and so on. So um, if you come down here, we'll get down to the holidays. I just wanted to show you this. I know down in, in Halloween, one of these, it says 0.47, but the cool thing about these is a lot of these are scalable. So I know that I have the TZE261, which is a one and a half inch tape. And I wanted to use a big tape uh, in this example, just so when we print it out, um, this gives us a lot of room and you can see the label well, and we can design some stuff easily, show you some different features. So if we selected this, out of the Halloween category, we have this boo and it says it's designed in 0.47. So it's gonna open it in a 0.47 label or a half inch label. Now, if I hit this, I have a couple different options. I know I have an inch and a half uh, tape installed. I can either detect size and colors automatically and that's gonna automatically change it to the size of the label that I have installed. Or you could do it manually. Um, if I switched out that one and a half inch tape and went to a three quarter inch tape, um, it would change it to three quarter inch by manually selecting that. And then um, you could install the three quarter inch tape and hit detect size and color and it would also change it. Um, so if I hit that now, I'm going back to the one and a half inch and I'll print one of these out so you can see what that looks like. Then, um, say you you know you just wanted to create a label from scratch, you're gonna it, rather than going through one of these categories, you can just click new layout and that'll open it up right here. Once again, it shows you the tape size. The length right now is on auto, and that's selected auto length. If we wanted to get rid of that. Now you can, if you said, you know, I know for a fact, I want to create a 4.5 inch label. You just type 4.5 and that's going to change that label length to 4.5. Um, I just click paper here to get back to these settings and this margin, the 0 0.08, that is around the border here. So your text is going to be within that margin. And right now we're on horizontal. We can switch that to vertical if you wanted. Um, and then uh, up here, right now we have text selected. So if we click in here, it's text. This is a select tool. That's good to know, because if you have your text, if you've typed something in here, um, if you've typed something in here and you want to move it around easily, you're just going to grab, you want that arrow, the select tool, and then you can drag it around, resize it using that select tool. Just makes it very easy to do. Um, you've got a line. So if you wanted to insert a line or draw a line and you can change the direction of it. 
and just hit delete to get rid of that. You can, here is different shapes that you can add to the label. Um, and right now that shows you, okay, that's the, let's move this text out of the way here. So now we have this shape and this shows us you have a pattern. And right now we have none, but we could have it filled in a solid color, uh, different textures. Uh, I'm sorry, these are just different patterns. So we'll say, how about, uh, we don't want a pattern, but we do want a texture. And these are different uh, textures that Brother has. There's a diamond plate one that's kind of neat. So you can see, you could put this diamond plate and we'll move our, go back to our text with the select tool and we'll move, uh, there's an option here to move to the front. Where is that? Bring to the front. There we go. Now our text is in front. And we'll print one and of these just to see what that looks like. And now we'll delete that background. We'll delete this text. And this is what our label looks like. So now let's say we wanted to print a six inch label. And now instead of manually doing it, I'm just gonna grab this, the end of it and move it out six inches. And then we can maybe put a frame on it. Um, there's a whole bunch of different categories for frames. And we'll select one here. I don't know, how about uh, the hands holding a sign? And then we'll select our text again. This is another test. We'll have that in there and we're gonna center it by clicking that. Or we can increase the size of the font. And right now we're on 24, we'll go up to 36. Maybe we can fit a little more, we'll go 40. And eh, I don't know, I don't like that on two lines. So I'm gonna go back to 28. 24, there we go, and that's about all we can fit. But you can see you could, if you wanted, have another line, three good lines on here, and we'll print that and see what that looks like with that border on there. And so from there, you got frames, then you've got images, and on images, you've got, you can, you know, grab files, you can do a screen capture, clip art, symbols, make a picture. And these are all, uh, obviously it's gonna have to just be its own category or its own video because there's just so many options. Uh, you got favorites where you can save templates and then your print and, and a quick save. Um, and I think that's probably gonna do it for now. Just qu creating a quick and easy label in the P-Touch Editor software. And that's uh, version 5.4 that we're using with the PTP 900. Uh, label maker and like I said before if you want to subscribe below uh, This is the first video in a series as you can tell there's going to be a number of them because there's a lot of different features And if there is something that you're looking to have us cover Let us know in the comments below and we'll get it added to one of the videos coming up